What's up, everybody? Welcome to Tones Over Thinks It, the show where I think too much to make up for the people who don't think at all. And welcome to another edition of TLDR. So as no doubt many of you are aware, Chili De Castro, or should I say Chili De Castro's lawyer, successfully won his appeal and he is now going to be released from prison a couple of months earlier than originally expected. Now I'm sure everyone's expecting me to be upset about this, to, you know, wring my hands and say this is a travesty of justice, etc. But truth be told, it's not the first time we've seen this. How many frauditors have we seen get out from under their charges? Quite a few, actually. A lot of them manage to delay long enough that prosecutors just give up and dismiss them. Heck, there's a few out there that have active warrants for failure to appear or fleeing the jurisdiction that, which let's be honest, the police aren't going to launch a nationwide manhunt to apprehend them. Because at the end of the day, the offenses they're committing is very trivial. And I've already done a video explaining that, that, you know, these aren't huge crimes. These aren't, most of the time, these aren't felonies or high misdemeanors. They're petty crimes, usually resulting in little to no jail time, maybe a small fine, and that's it. That's the cost of doing business. These people have no problem racking up these little offenses for all the big money they make on YouTube, doing what they do. The thing is, though, while Chile will no doubt be gloating and feel prideful of his victory, here's the thing to consider. When it comes to First Amendment auditors beating their charges, Chile has proven that he absolutely sucks at it. If you were to look at any other big-name frauditor out there, like, say, Amagansett Press or Long Island Audit, they tend to get their charges dismissed before they even start a trial. Chile went through an entire trial, got convicted, and had to spend time in prison before a real lawyer was able to get him out. Think about it. Chile legit struggled to pull off something most frauditors can pull off very easily. So if that doesn't make him look incompetent enough, take this into consideration. Chile has bragged about being a constitutional law scholar, that he's been studying law for 20 years. He says that he sues people all the time, like he's good at it. He thinks he knows better than any lawyer, judge, or police officer. He grifts people into saying he can help them with their cases and their filings so that they can get their charges dismissed or file a successful lawsuit and collect damages. What this case proved today is that all of that means nothing. He couldn't get it done on his own. Anybody he ever tries to pitch his services to will have to stop and ask themselves, well, wait a minute. This guy says he can help me, but he couldn't get his own conviction overturned. So maybe I should just hire an actual lawyer or hire the lawyer he had. So if Chile wants to claim this as a win, it's going to actually be bittersweet because in reality, he has to abandon any pretense that he is this all-knowing constitutional law scholar. Everything that he's worked for Everything that he's challenging with Terry versus Ohio or all of his lawsuits, you know, frivolous as they may be, he has to admit that he doesn't know a damn thing about what he's doing and that he has to actually talk to real experts. He has to hire real, knowledgeable professionals to get anything done. So that is the price that he has had to pay for his freedom. This is the equivalent of a sovereign citizen deciding to just shut up, put his script away, and tell the judge, I plead not guilty and I'll take the free public defender to represent me in this case to try to get me out. So yeah, I don't know about the rest of you, but I see Chili's victory as being particularly bittersweet. And again, let me stress this point. He's not the first frauditor we've seen get off easy. He won't be the last. It's really nothing new. If anything, it's just one of the rare instances we've seen it get this far. But I think it's particularly telling just how difficult it was for Chili to pull it off. Which then leads to the question, well, what's going to happen next time? And yes, there is going to be a next time. We know for sure that this is going to go to Chili's head. That he's going to be out there again on the street, causing trouble as always, but this time, he now is going to have this sense of invincibility. Which means he's going to push things further. He's going to take greater risks. And if he's lucky, he's only going to tempt fate with police officers who at least are trained and have policies in place so that they can show restraint and discretion. Whereas if he decides to pull this nonsense on a civilian, he's going to be playing with fire. So for all we know, within months, Chile could very well be back in prison, or worse. 
unless he actually learned something, which I doubt, but you never know. Beneath that smug, overconfident, obnoxious exterior, he may have had a revelation. Perhaps knowing that going to prison is not worth it. I mean, he certainly recorded enough phone calls expressing and complaining just how horrible it was for him. Maybe he'll just take the win and bow out. Again, I doubt it, but Chili, if you're listening, your best course of action at this point is to hang it up, disappear, thank all of your loyal sycophants and shills for all their money, and move on. Sure, it's not the ending we all want to this story, but truly it's the best thing for everyone. Because rest assured, Chili, this entire incident exposed all of your faults, all of your vulnerabilities, and all your inadequacies. If you're going to try to capitalize on this and try to ride it further than it can actually go, it will not go well. You will find yourself in even worse trouble than you have already been. You will lose more than you think you stand to gain. And you may very well find yourself back in that cell again, where not even your lawyer, who you've admitted knows more than you, will be able to get you out. But then again, maybe I'm just overthinking it. Thanks for watching everybody. If you like what you see here and you want to see even more in the future, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also feel free to share your thoughts down in the comment section. I always love to read them. Till next time.